Hello subscribers and first time viewers, welcome to the Kenny Hack. Um, today, not really doing any project in particular, uh, going to be going over kind of how to set up a jig and form templates to kind of make, like if you're doing multiple jobs all at one time, like I'm going to be showing you how to set up to build a template for like 12 4 inch coasters whether they're square or round how to build a jig or a template in this case it's not since it's not holding anything it's more of a template um you can see here i got a piece of plywood that is 17 inches by 19 inches it easily fits down inside my frame and is bigger than what the maximum burn size is for this it's you know the 400 millimeter by 430 millimeter um, will easily fit onto that board. Uh, so anything I want to work with will stay on that piece. Um, so, and this is three quarter inch thick plywood with, I got the Rotor Laser Master 2 20 slash 5.5 watt. I got the standard lens in it. So your best focal length is between 30 and 40 millimeters. With this three quarter inch sheet of plywood, that surface is at 40 millimeters. So if I put any kind of piece of slate or tile or quarter inch piece of plywood that I'm gonna be using for coaster material, that should put it right around the 35 millimeter height, which is about optimum. I find anywhere from 30 to 40 you're, you're with this with the standard lens you're gonna do pretty good so that's what I use as my base for my templates um, kind of already got this piece of wood set in there roughly square to the housing um, I'll show you how you can it doesn't need to be perfectly square to the housing to start with you're gonna burn in a square template so That'll be the next part of the video. I'll get set up for that and we'll we'll jump to that section. So here we are in light burn and I've already gone in and built in this first square template. And that dimension is 360 millimeters wide by 400 millimeters tall. Um, I don't like to run my templates all the way to the maximum limit because then if you're off just a little bit, you'll get the error message saying you're out of bounds. So build your templates a little bit inside of their maximum limits. Um, we're gonna go ahead and now we'll start, we'll switch over to the first template. I'll build a square. And since these are all gonna be like roughly four inch or 100 millimeters, um, I like to build the template just a few, like most of them are right at four inches or right at 100 millimeters uh, for their measurements. Um, I like to build my templates just one or two millimeters bigger. So when you set it down onto the board, you kind of can, you're not covering up any of the lines. It's It's gonna, You'll be able to see it a little bit better and make sure you're centered on your template. So build it a go 102 millimeters by 102 millimeters. And then that'll be the first one. And we're going to set this as a different layer so we can burn them in different orders. And it, it always helps to have everything as a different layer so you can select which template you want to use. So we'll get that first guy. And we're going to bring it down pretty close to the edge of the border perimeter. And now here's this little tool on the side that's this 3x3 uh, three three grid. This allows you to quickly uh, copy that over like by how many rows and columns high you want to make it. So you select, you have that first one highlighted and say we want to go three columns wide and then we'll go 
uh, three columns tall. You can see going four, I probably could just barely squeeze that in if I uh, wanted to run it right to the maximum edge. But let's give ourselves a little bit of room. Um, you can go to spacing. Give yourself like, oh, well, we got plenty of room. So we'll go about 15 millimeters of spacing between them that way. Uh, go ahead and go up to like 15 millimeters that way on your vertical. So now you have a very nice square grid. Um, and that's basically all you need to do for this layer. Let's change that layer to... Uh, let's take, oops, go back, keep that one yellow. So now you got a whole bunch of square grids that are good for square tiles. So now we'll go ahead and we'll burn onto the same template ones for round tiles. So get your circle one, build a circle, and it's it already snapped to that diameter of the square automatically so it's 102 by 102 circle but let's make that a separate layer it's on its own so if I'm doing circle tiles I can snap my image to the circles or I can snap them to the squares but all of these circles and squares will be nested inside of each other so now I'll grab the same tool and We'll keep all the same 15. It should just perfectly pop right into the center of all the squares. Um, so now you've got a square and a circle template uh, that you can use for either one. So now this would be set up to run for nine coasters. And you can just quickly, I'm going to burn this image in to that piece of board and then We'll go from there and I'll kind of show you how you can quickly use these templates to set up projects for multiple runs. And we'll go from there. So here's the preview of the burn. It's just going to, they're all set to line, set at about 2,000 millimeters, 85% power. That should be plenty enough to burn in a nice solid line. If it's not, I'll just stop the run slow down the speed until I get in a nice dark line to use as my template and it's only going to take about four minutes so we'll jump to that once it's over so as you can see here templates all burned in I did have to slow it down a little bit this is a piece of pine plywood and anybody who's tried burning pine knows it just doesn't burn very well so Slowed it down to like a thousand millimeters per minute just so it burned in a little deeper and darker. But as you can see, um, now it's very easy to just grab any of your pieces, set it right inside that ring, and now it's set up to match the template on the computer. And you can just select individual ones or set up like three of them to burn, four of them to burn. It all just matter what layer you set it up in. Uh, if you only have four of them, select them four, set them as their own layer, and then set that just them four up to burn. You don't have to do all nine at one time. You can just do one if you want. But now you have a template that I can throw this board underneath of here. And initially, I would only select that very outside perimeter. And I would set up and locate every corner point and make sure my corners were perfectly lined up under the laser in that way if the laser squared up to that outside perimeter then all the other squares on the inside are lined up so you when you first put your template under home back to zero and then select the outside square um, select the bottom left corner, get it positioned under the laser, select the bottom right corner, get it under the right spot, and then the top left, top right, and then do a frame, make sure everything's perfectly lined up, 
and then you know all your templates will line up perfectly from there on. And we'll kind of go over that real quick. So if I was just placing this, just place this template underneath there, I'd highlight that outside one. I'd turn the output on for it, just so, just so I know it, it goes to the right template. I would send the machine back to home, make sure everything's zeroed. Come up here, move the laser to the bottom left corner. Oop, looks like I have to re reconnect my laser. Move it to the bottom left. Select fire. Okay, and so now you can see it's right back on the bottom left corner. Move it along, it should run right along the line. Okay, it's right back. Just give her a little buzz there, it's kind of right centered. And then, as a quick check, hit, hold the shift key and hit the frame button. That'll keep the fire light on. Then you can make sure it's tracing that line all the way around your template. And I mean, if it's a half millimeter off or something, that's not going to be probably far enough to really throw anything greatly off. As you can see, it's tracing around that outside perimeter. So, I know my template's back to being square for, for everything I burned for that. So now, anything I do on this template will be centered up. Hold on, just doing a little camera adjusting here. So, like now, if I wanted to do like this temp, this little design, and I wanted to do it in round coasters, I'd turn on the round coaster template, and you can see exactly how the design is going to fit into that coaster. So, like this one here, and like Lightburn automatically likes to snap things right to the center. So if you drag it pretty close to the center of that circle, it's going to automatically snap into it. So you could say, well, maybe for this for a particular one, I'd like it maybe offset a little bit up and to the left to get it, you know, the image is kind of bottom right heavy. So I could trace it right there. And then I can just copy that image. Come over here, paste it, you know, and you can manually move it to the same deal. Paste another one. So say I just wanted to do three of these. I could say, okay, there I got them all kind of right where I want them. Now, if I only wanted to burn them three, I would shut off the circles. I don't want to burn the template over again. I just want to turn on these images. And I'd line up my three round coasters into them circles. And I, I, I know I'd burn them perfectly centered on how I want them orientated. So that's kind of a quick how to set up a template. Um, I use these all the time. So I can burn three, four, nine... Just put them all in, and that way you're not having to babysit every coaster you burn. You can you can do a like a it's kind of a small batch. Maybe it'll run for an hour or two, and then you can come back, set up another batch, let it run, and it just cuts down on how much time you have to spend reloading each one individually. So it, it's a big time saver.
and um, I'll just throw another template in here that I use. Um, kind of pardon, it's kind of crude. Uh, but this one here is for like inch and a half wooden nickels. I can just pop the temp the wooden nickels right. This is just made out of cardboard. And well, I got all that stuff sitting under there so it won't sit flat. But it sits flat on there, and I can just pop all the wooden nickels into that cardboard template. And you know, just like I did on all them, once I have the template built with this holds like 81 wooden nickels and I can burn all one side pop them out put in up flip them over set up the template again uh, run all 81 again you can see I got a little uh, line burned around the outside edge of that and that's what I square up to the laser on the first deal I make sure I'm squared up to that frame and then my template will always work out I don't have to worry about getting everything exactly precise placed. It's I've ran multiple runs on that template. Uh, the wooden nickels have been a good seller for me. Um, just a nice, easy, quick project for one of my local bars. But like I said, I, I've seen a lot of people asking how to build templates and jigs and stuff off the internet on forums. And just thought I'd show something really quick on how I do them they, like once you figure out how to make the you use this little deal to make multiple setups you can build a lot of templates really quickly for whatever kind of jobs you like to run and if you got even an odd shape create your odd shape one time uh, copy and paste it over horizontally and vertically burn it into a project and then you can run that multiple times in for one job setup so kind of not really any kind of project in particular it was just something to hopefully help people just starting out and kind of learning how to do templates please like share comment um if anybody asks in the forum feel free to direct them to the video uh, hopefully it makes it easier to explain than trying to do some lengthy post online on how to build a template so thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next video